In spite of the fact that the SEC and Ripple XRP might be on the verge of reaching a settlement, there is only one possible outcome, according to an attorney and a lawyer who specializes in XRP. As of right now, there is only one possible conclusion that might occur. I token holder or possessor an attorney by the name of John Dion is of the belief that Ripple and the United States Securities and Exchange Commission will investigate the prospect of striking a settlement. It was a suggestion that the Securities and Exchange Commission, which is run by Chair Gary Gensler, is involved in its own battle with other cryptocurrency platforms that served as the basis for his remark. An attorney by the name of Dion asserts that the United States Securities and Exchange Commission's stance against Bitcoin companies is analogous to a conflict that is akin to a war. He also brought up the law that we had proposed, which was an additional point of interest. According to what Dion stated in a podcast, the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, would be putting itself in a hazardous position if it settled the XRP complaint and then went on to regulate other cryptocurrencies. This would be a risky move for the SEC. Senator Elizabeth Warren is making an effort to put a stop to the alleged use of Bitcoin for illegal activities such as money laundering and violations of sanctions. A conflict has arisen between the many groups of people that we have. Elizabeth Warren proposed the measure, however, according to the attorney, the only way for the parties to reach a consensus would be if Coinbase were to win their dismissal case in its entirety or in part in order to make it possible for cryptocurrency assets that were classified as securities to be traded. This would be the only way for the parties to reach a consensus. In June 2023, the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, accused Coinbase of operating an unlicensed securities exchange. In response, the Bitcoin exchange moved to dismiss the case, claiming that the coins and tokens it owns do not qualify as securities and that the SEC lacks jurisdiction over the cryptocurrency market. Coinbase dismissed the case. That being the case, the Supreme Court of the United States ruled that the SEC only had authority within the United States, which means that it is possible that this will shield the majority of Ripple's token sales that took place outside of the United States while excluding a small fraction of sales made to institutional investors based in the United States in July 2023. The lawyer cited a case involving Morrison that the Supreme Court of the United States heard in relation to institutional transactions involving virtual currency. According to the analysis, the judge who presided over the summary judgment made a decision that was favorable to Ripple in terms of making tokens available for sale to retail customers. When a petition to revise its regulation relating to share repurchase data was brought to the Securities and Exchange Commission in December 1923, the company had yet another setback in court. This was after the company had already suffered multiple failures in the Bitcoin market. Ripple was able to obtain some kind of victory in the XRP litigation which is the most famous of the multiple legal losses that the agency has experienced in relation to cryptocurrency. On December 19, Judge Jerry Myth of the United States Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit released a ruling that favored granting the motion and abolishing the requirement that compelled issuers to submit daily share repurchase data every quarter. The ruling was given in favor of enabling the motion. Given that BlackRock placed a higher priority on the approval of a Bitcoin exchange traded fund, ETF, this decision made it possible for Bitcoin whales to start trading again. Issuers of securities were required to report their daily buyback activities either quarterly or semi-annually in accordance with the new rules so that they could comply with the requirements. On May 3, 2023, the Securities and Exchange Commission approved an amendment that establishes the disclosure requirements for securities repurchases. This amendment stipulates the conditions for disclosure. The United States Chamber of Commerce submitted a petition to the court contesting the new rule, and on October 31, 2023, the court published its decision in response to the petition. According to the court, the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, operated in a way that was both arbitrary and capricious, which violated the Administrative Procedure Act. This is in addition to the fact that the Securities and Exchange Commission did not undertake a cost-benefit analysis or provide a response to the suggestions made by the petitioners. In his most recent decision, Judge Smith approved the motion to repeal the rule and noted that the SEC had previously had the chance to comment on or object to the rule. The Securities and Exchange Commission came to the conclusion that preliminary clearance for an exchange-traded fund should not be granted under any circumstances. A panel of justices from the United States Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit came to the conclusion that the drive that concerned spot Bitcoin was arbitrary and capricious. This decision was made in accordance with the complaint that was brought by Grayscale. Following the completion of an analysis of the Supreme Court's earlier decisions concerning Bitcoin futures exchange traded funds, the justices have expressed their disapproval of the decisions that the Supreme Court has taken, stating that they are arbitrary. 
One school of thought maintains that the Supreme Court failed to take into account the mathematical and financial relationship that exists between the spot market and the futures market. Consequently, the request that was made by GR Skill to reconsider the decision on the clearance of a spot Bitcoin exchange traded fund was taken into account. You are aware of someone who is an advocate for Ripple at the legal department. According to John, XRP is not a security, however, if it were to be traded on the main market, it could be considered a security. Despite this, John continues to maintain his original position that the HOT test does not apply to digital assets such as Bitcoin. Dion is aware of the fact that some digital assets could be marketed as securities. If this were to occur, the SEC would be required to investigate each and every transaction that took place in both the main market and the secondary market. Within the following half year, it is anticipated that Ripple's chief executive officer will announce the ultimate ruling that the court has rendered. Already, there are two different scenarios that could occur as a result of the Ripple research. The chief executive officer of Ripple is optimistic about the future of the cryptocurrency industry. Ripple's lawsuit is expected to cause significant disruptions in the Bitcoin sector, according to a number of individuals working in the Bitcoin industry. In order to avoid falling behind other countries and blockchain technology, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse claimed that the company anticipates hearing the final court ruling within the next six months. This is done in order to prevent the company from falling behind and falling behind other nations. This action is taken in order to ensure that the company does not fall behind in the development of blockchain technology. Ripple has already incurred a total of $200 million in additional costs in order to defend itself against the dispute. The American government has received a request from Garling House for clarification of the rules. He said that the case had been time-consuming and costly, and he expressed regret that other companies could have to go through the same thing with the Securities and Exchange Commission. He also stated that the litigation had made him feel uncomfortable. The action that is being taken against Ripple could have a different conclusion than what the experts have projected, which is a Ripple effect that Brad has caused. If it is established that XRP was offered as a security, then the action could have a different outcome. There is a possibility that Ripple and the Securities and Exchange Commission will reach a consensus, which would be one of the events that is most likely to occur. Despite the fact that the idea that tokens are equivalent to investment contracts is false, the Securities and Exchange Commission has not addressed the issue, as Debt mentioned. Further, the assumption that tokens represent investment contracts is erroneous. When it comes to the ecosystem of cryptocurrencies, the comparison of exchanges indicates that there is continually promising potential. It has been decided by the court that the secondary sales of LBR tokens are not deemed to be sales of securities. This decision was made after the court heard the current litigation of the SEXI. Due to the rapid improvement of the cryptocurrency's utility and problem-solving capabilities, Garlinghouse, the chief executive officer of Ripple, is enthusiastic about the long-term prospects of the ecosystems. This optimism originates from the ability of ecosystems to solve problems. If Ripple is successful in court, however, the value of XRP may potentially quadruple from its current level and reach its previous record high of $3. This would be a significant achievement for the cryptocurrency. Ripple has demonstrated its commitment to expanding its presence in the region by deciding to construct its headquarters in the Dubai International Financial Center in the year 2020. This choice was made in order to fulfill another commitment. As part of his answer to Morgan's post-RTH message, he made the observation that whenever he attempted to bring up this issue, he was faced with hostile and dismissive responses from other XRP proponents rather than a discourse that was rational. He expressed his concern with the mediocre long-term pattern of the price movement of XRP with the purpose of expressing his anger with the lackluster long-term pattern of the price movement of XRP because he was dissatisfied with it. Kim expressed his desire to explore the factors that, in his opinion, have been preventing the expansion of XRP. In his opinion the fundamental reason for the underperformance of XRP is connected to the nature and origins of the cryptocurrency according to his explanation in the year 2017 several individuals were compensated to disseminate negative propaganda regarding XRP referring to it as a centralized banker's coin because of this its reputation was harmed and it became less interesting in comparison to other coins that are decentralized and driven by the community it was also brought to his attention that after XRP achieved its all-time high of more than $3 in the beginning of 2018 it was confronted with a significant setback when the United States Securities and Exchange Commission filed a lawsuit against Ripple and its management alleging that they had conducted an unregistered securities offering due to the fact that they had been waiting for a good decision XRP investors and developers were filled with concern and dread as a result of this court conflict. The dispute has not yet reached a settlement that can be considered decisive, despite the fact that the court has just ruled in favor of the plaintiff. For the time being, that is all that is available.